I guess a lot of second gener- generation guys can relate to each other a lot. We kind of get gra- in my in my dealings, we always gravitate to each other. You know, I remember Cody Rose one time spotted off like, "Yeah, second generation guys don't get along," and I'm thinking, "The fuck do you know about that?" Man? <laughs> you know? First time, I, my dealings with Cody were different than other people because when I first met him, like t- entitled, like a hundred and fucking percent, right? Really? I first met him. He never even had a match. He, like he got hired, no experience, no nothing. He was 21. He was trying to be an actor in Hollywood. And I remember, because like back in the old days, like in the Amarillo territory, when Dusty was just starting out, him and uh, Dick Murdoch were a tag team, right? Yeah. My dad rode with them, but my dad had already been in the business about 10 years. And my, my father would tell me stories about that, right? So when I first met Cody, I was like, hey, man, because by that point, I was 20, I think 22. So I had already been in the business eight years, four years with WWE. And I say, hey, man, uh, nice to meet you. Boom. Uh, hey, man, you're just starting out. I'll help you out any way I can. I sincerely meant it, right? But it's almost like it like, took offense to it. Like, wow. like, oh, you don't even have a match. I don't give a shit who your daddy is, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? doesn't matter who your daddy is. You're starting out at anything. You're going to need help, especially in this business, right? So anyway, that was my story there. <sighs> it, uh, it's weird as well when he says um, second generation wrestlers don't get along, even though he was put in a group full of second and third generation <laughs> legacy. wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> legacy. Yeah, if anybody can relate to, to each other, it would be second generation kids.